Rightio, uh, which one are we doing? We're going to do this one here, Danny. Yeah, just push it across. Come on, ready? One, two, three. Oh, gee whiz. What is that? Four or something? That seems heavier than normal. Maybe it's got water in it. Oh, shit. No, this one doesn't. We're just getting weaker, Danny. Let's try. Let's just try. Let's just We're try just this gonna one. We're just going to break that seal, like to push it across a little bit, because she'll be sucked down because of you know the water having rained on it. Oh, so you just. No, we're all right, we're all right. Okay, we'll lift up and along. Ready? One, two, three. Up. Oh, that's it. One, two, three. Up. Oh. What we'll do, Danny, you jump in the car, we're going to tilt it, and then you reverse until we get the half on the back, you know? Rightio, where's the, it's easy to pull that. <laughs> um... Hang on, I'll, I'll push. <laughs> no, Jack, here, we'll do this, mate. Why don't we just do the lift, like, because we're getting our shoulders into it and pushing up. Yeah, okay, all right. All right, hang on, ready? No, we're getting it low. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, oh, nearly. Oh, oh, we're getting put there. the tyre over there. <laughs> we're the little car tyre. Yeah, we want this one. Just, yeah, you lift, lift. Right, yeah. What we're going to do, it's easiest for it to push and move it sideways. Yeah. So, so we're going to sort of lift it and try and get it onto that. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Hang on, I've got my toe under it. Okay, right. ready? One, two, no, no. One, two, three. Hop. That's, uh, that's it. That's right. it. Stand there, stand there. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Why don't we just keep going up? Yeah, we can. Now, do you want to grab your Yeah, arms? I'll grab the other side. Stand by, stand by. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Yeah, okay, yeah. I've got... Push! A bit more. Bit more. Okay, I've got... <laughs> I've got it. All right, you guide Danny. All right, wait one, Danny. All right, keep coming back, Danny. Yep. Are we on the edge? Almost. Keep going. There you are. Okay. On the bottom, ready? One, two, three. Oh, stand by, stand by. Danny. <coughs> Danny. It was a lizard, not a snake. <laughs> <sighs> Danny, come around here. You go side, you go side, Jack. You go middle. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Luckily, we've got that up. Push this way. Well, how's it look? We've got to put our rubbers under it to stop it from rubbing. Yep. But we might do that. Do we have any down here? Why don't you just put two tyres under it? They've got rims in them. What about... What about, about in the back of this? There? What about this? That's our spare tyre. No, this. I was going to put that under the shuttle. But yeah, no, let's do it. Yeah, because we can do other stuff. Danny, just take, the, take those two tyres off. I'm going to put the spare in the um, trough. Right, Danny, you grab one side. Jack's going to lift and we're going to slide this under. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, shit. 
get your side under Danny. Oh, fuck, drop. Okay, drop. <laughs> Tell you what, truck tire, greater tire just under. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, that's a better idea. Danny, roll that. Pete, no, hang on, stop, Jack. I'm going to roll it onto there and then we won't be able to get that. Pull that out, Danny, yeah. and we'll feed that in from the side. Jack's going to lift and I'm just going to roll this under. Ready? One, two, three, go. Yep, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yep. Jeez, that's ungainly. Man. Well, it's bloody filled with steel. <laughs> Feed it. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Wait. Okay, keep coming. Okay, and we want to go over the back, Jack. See over this back thing here. Jack, uh, Danny, lift the middle. Lift the middle. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to come towards you a bit. Yeah. All right. So right. when we pull the tire out, D Danny, can you hold this one? And it's going to swivel his across, and I'm going to try and hold it up a bit. Oh, you lift it up, Jack. I'll knock the tire and move this at the same time. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, we're good. We're, we're good. good. Down, Danny. Good. Right. <clears throat> okay, Danny, you can strap that up. The other thing we didn't do was our suspension bushes. The big uh, ones yeah. on the bottom. Yeah. Have you got a strap for that, mate? Yeah. Okay, you do that. We're going to go into this. Does he have enough straps in there? Yeah, he does. All right. All right, you run it around, Danny. Don't no, stop. Hang on. Let me get this on. Wait on. Where's the ratchet? Around the other side. Yep. Way you go, Danny. Sorry, Danny. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? No, Jack, go on the thinner one, mate. Just do the horizontal thinner one. I'm committed now. Okay. He is committed. Stripes out. Yep. Uh, push from the back if we could. Okay, so we're going down. What are we doing, Jack? We're going down to the... Um... Today we're going to go set up Finders Keepers, the YouTube ball. And since we've just gotten to 100 uploads, it kind of seems appropriate that we would revisit our first episode where I found at a rehabilitated drill site a ball and there was good water. And in this last round of drilling, the mining company, the Exploration Mining Company, uh, said that they'd be able to spare some time to help us put a water board down. So they went back to the site and that, after the drill program, the drillers, so the guys at Top Drill, went back to the site. We provided some casing and some gravel and they whacked a hole down for us and proved it up. And now we've got fresh water where we wanted it and it's bloody awesome. And that's why it's so good to work in collaboration with our mining exploration companies because you know, everything comes back around if you're gentle about it and if you're cooperative because it's good for the region to be able to have the mining because that injects capital into projects such as improved roads, services and also helps develop a community. So we're going to go down and equip the YouTube ball, finders keepers. One hand washes the other, my dad used to say. Righto, that's the tank. That's the trough, and now we're going to go and get some other stuff. All right, Danny, we'll see you up top, mate. Got about five metres. You're going at a good pace. A little bit towards the workshop, tiny bit towards the workshop. All right, towards the hangar, just a touch. Straighten the wheels up. Steady, steady. Keep coming a little bit, steady, gently. About half a foot. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. 
and more, more, more. That's us, stop, park break it. Right, well, it's, yeah, you're doing well hooking your air up. Yeah, good. Oh, um, stand by, stand by. Yeah, no, no, it's hooking. It's, did you put your park brake on? Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Why is this not going on, Jack? Yeah, you've just got to um, get him in the right spot. Oh, yeah, okay. This is the... Yeah, the so pull that sleeve back a bit. Get it lined up with that get one there. Get it lined up to that. And and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Get over this without breaking my leg again. <laughs> Can I have a fiddle with it? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, that's oh, that's better. That's... Yeah, just to free it up a bit. Yeah, and right. She got this on. And see how it's gone forwards again? Yeah, and then you just turn it. And yeah, it. got it, got it, got it. And then yep, the dust cover good. goes on. Mm -hmm. right, good. And I gave that a full loop until the other position. Yep. Like the notch. Okay, so you just, but yes. You just keep twisting and fiddling because they get a little bit of dust in them and then they're fussy. We've missed all of that dialogue. Uh, our microphones have gone flat somehow. Probably because we just weren't recording a lot of stuff. And we're just gonna find out how good this microphone is. Um, it's been pretty good so far, but hopefully you can't see it up in this top corner. And yeah, let's see how we go.
So we've got Danny digging away there. The loader, we only had a little bit of the second half of that captured, but he's digging it in. Had the wheels off the ground. Uh, yeah, so the second half, Ant and Danny ran out of battery, but they um, they got the uh, well, all the leads done on the truck, uh, on the loader. So they changed it all from that auto grease line where we had a whole load of lines that had popped yes. over to manual grease nipples, which really doing the work that we do, it's probably better to actually get your eyes over the machine than relying on an auto greaser out here. You know, it's part of that regular maintenance. And uh, now here we are, we're about to start taping our line onto our pipeline. Uh, and do you want to explain just quickly why we do that? We take this line onto here so that when we're lying in the hole and then when we're pulling it out, if we don't tape it to it, if you're pulling, you're pulling your, your uh, ESP out, it can bunch up and then it can get like, it can, it can get jammed and then you, then you have to send down what we call a fishing tool and we don't have any fishing tools. Yet. So we just keep these together in unison, in and out the hole so that it doesn't get caught up. Now it is possible for one person to go along and do it, but it is much nicer on our backs if there's two of us and one of us can set the tension and the other one just wraps the tape. So we're going to get started on that. And uh, I'm the tape guy. You're the tape guy. It's good for you, you know, getting those, getting it back. For anyone, actually. Any physios out there? Any physios or, and I've read all the stuff on, but I tell you, I've got tennis elbow like you've never had before in your life. So. Um, I'm doing all the stuff, you know, this and, but has anyone got any crazy ideas about tennis elbow? I'm up for it. Because I need a quick fix. I've heard that there's this oil that you can get and it comes from... The current bush? No, not from the current bush. Well, I've been giving you the Kwandong tea though. That's to help you lose weight. Thank you. Okay. And yeah, remain balanced. But no, 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 um, out here there's... There is actually a natural cure for it. For it's it called it rest? No, Ant, no, no, no. There is no rest for the wicked. Okay. Now, it comes from um, one of the reptiles out here. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Jack. Get, get on this thing. <laughs>
Jack? Yeah, it's on the cruiser. Now the GoPro is going to more than certainly overheat in an enclosed space. But we'll see how we go. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Okay, can we, uh, it's all a fly spray gone. We've used it, Ant. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in, Danny. No mucking about. Straight. Straight from the earth to the tank. Yeah, it's it. You're twisting the fitting now. You good? Tell you, Jack. I don't build those on jelly and ice cream, but. <laughs> Do you eat jelly? Is it on the list of them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to um, drop this thing down before we think about sensors. So yes. we've got our cables length. So. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Right. So glad I didn't cut your finger this time. Yeah, I know that. Was hey, and where's the thing? Yeah. Where's, have you got the plastic in there as well? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's us. Oh, and what? Stop. 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 Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it towards you, Danny. Yeah, well yeah. done. Now we're gonna have to cut the cord. Oh no! no. Oh no! We can just. Danny, that's hands down one of the most beautiful thing I've ever done in my life. What about your pilot surprise winning paint? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it! <laughs> you deserve that, Jack. Go get him, flies. That's all I can say. Go get him. Oh, jeez. Fucking. Right. That is a masterpiece. I'm so impressed with myself. He's become the Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies. I want to get the feeling I'm piggy. Hold the conch. You can't talk unless you're holding the conch, Jack. Well, I remember the book. Yeah, would you remember that part? Yes. Good. Good answer. I got really annoyed with that book, though. Why? I had no idea. Okay, you had a better theory on how to, how kids, how, 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 
What was your thoughts? Tell me. Just their, their survival. I was pretty disappointed. But then again, they were all from like a... No, not from the country. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> that is, hey, this is the first time I've used a POM. This is the first time I'm using your nail file on the... Uh, on the thing, you should be very proud, mate. This is really good, Pom. I think it's probably, I think it's probably the West Australian Fire Brigade's implement that Pom's given away, but that's all right. Mate. I don't see DFES written on it anywhere. Or um, I could, fe you know, Fiza, Fiza, there's, Fiza, a, there's a there's there, a there's a rumor that when John Boy and Pom in the early days in the Fire Brigade. And my eldest son was only two years old. That a fire truck turned up to his birthday. <laughs> right? And I have to tell you, all the mums, the first thing they said was, they looked at Nick, Nicky, and said, are you joking? Like, how are we ever gonna beat this? How are our kids, they're gonna want a fire truck and everything. But once they settled down from that, you think the kids could get on the fire truck? No. Because we're talking about John Boy, Johnny July, in the fireman's calendar, going back a bit. And Pom, right? Two good looking men. Uh, there was all the mums trying to get in the, in the fire truck. The kids couldn't get a look in. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, you know, the, the mums look at Nick and you and just go, this is not appropriate for a kid's birthday. <laughs> no strippers. <laughs> no, we're in trouble. We, we were, we were, what am I doing here? This yeah, is that's not... correct. But what you want to do is get the one up here, yeah. uh, in, yeah. and then tape them together and then feed them down together. Otherwise it's a real pain. You're right, okay. So, sensor in the tank. Danny, where is the sensor? Not in the tank. No, with the short cord. <laughs> the one over there, mate, with the short cord. And we won't send the sensor down. Um, yes, no, there was a lot of humour in that. Like, yeah, so what we want to do is... No, the other end. No, no, well... Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get okay, it. Okay, good. He's going to send that down first. I will fish it out of here and then send this one down with it. Right, right. Don't run out. Jack. Hmm. Good thing about today is the flies aren't too bad. That guy asked. That guy asked for a fly count. He said, we, "He said that in our videos we should give." Um, okay, Danny, head that down there. He said that we should give a fly. Um, a tally a, on yeah, the fly. No, a fly. A, yeah, a, a fly. Um, have like a, a fly meter. You could have a drink. Oh, like a scale of one to ten. Yeah. Yeah, and like ten is probably biblical. Yeah. Also so, known as a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> now you could you could have a drinking game of like every time we swat a fly away, you've got to have a drink. Oh, Jack, I'm not drinking this month. I'm not saying you have to drink every time you swat a fly away. Oh. I'm saying the viewer. Oh, oh the viewer. Yeah. So just while oh, we're going like this. Yeah. <laughs> so not that we're advocating um alcohol yeah. drinking games, but what are your suggestions for a Jack Out the Back themed drinking game? I know a person. I'm glad you know someone. No 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 no. This is a good story. Now this is a question for the viewers. Now there is someone that we know that went to Cambridge, as in Oxford and Cambridge. Yes. Right? yes. Okay. And that person was, was quite a good runner. So, Cambridge has this running club called the Hare and Hounds. And every year they go on a running camp somewhere. And when they go on this running camp, they have a competition. Now, Cambridge has been going, as most people know, for centuries, as has this sort of, this game's been going for a while. And the game is this. For every, for every mile, not kilometre, mile, for every mile you run, you get a point. 
and for every pint of beer you drink you get a point okay so it goes for seven days the running camp and these are just uni students right so the question is what is the record it can be any combination so if you, you just you, run and drink one pint of beer fine if you just, what if just drink, drink beer? pints and beer and thing but i can tell you that the record and i'll give you the exact number but the record was pretty even so that should give you a hint as in the points that he accumulated were half from beer and half from the miles We haven't got a rubber hammer, have we? Probably not. Yeah, I need to get the other end out first. Probably put the Stilson on it and that'll hold it. Uh, yeah. I've got, uh, got a small gimpy. No, a water thing on that other yet. 20 litre jug. Yep. I want to know the bit that you won't believe. We didn't measure it. No, I know. <laughs> Well, it's a, they, we come in from the side, underneath. Yep. So we're just at that stage of making sure that it's all kitted up and it's going to start pumping first thing tomorrow morning, if it's not overcast, because it's about half past four and we'd like to get home. So if Ant's going to get that rigged up. Dad and Danny are just doing that little bit of a tidy up and I'm going to offload all the kit that we don't need to drag up and down again from Bruiser so we're good for comms. If we were really good, and I mean really good, we'd have it set up that all we have to do is bring more down. But I think we're going to have to bring... We'll work it out. We'll see how we go. Tell you what, that 
this GoPro is just dying. Just slowly dying. Not even slowly dying, it's just dying. Where's that run out to? That's not... Is that doing anything? Yeah. It is. Can you hear it? No. Oh, I can, yeah. It's only up to you. Well, we didn't have the pump turned up really. What did we have it on? Well, I've Three. put it down to seven. Here you go, let's put it to full noise and see how it goes. It's not... I would have thought a column that big had a lot of pressure in it. Yeah, but it's the pump that's the... I put Limiting it down, factor. Yeah, I put the pump down to seven Just, because we didn't know how reliable the water was. Okay. And so while we're here... But seven's our, seven's our recommended. Our standard, yeah. Hey Jack, where's that the uh, the outlets there? Where do we want the outlet facing that way? That way. Because yep. the inlet is directly opposite. What do you want to do? Come forward, sideways, skew left, right. We need to flatten this out over here. Flatten that out. Yeah, we went a uh, bucket. All right, jump. I'll place the thing over here. Go backwards. Put her down. Bring her forwards. Go backwards. Come down, slide it forwards. Bloody perfecto, bloody perfecto that way. There's your rag. And, Jack, I don't think we've ever put in one better than that. That is as flat as in both directions. So it's Danny. Danny's done it all. Danny, maybe it is a sacred site. The one with the silver on it. Oh, BSP. Yeah. That's a BSP. Okay, what's the difference between that and that? Is, I know BSP stands for something stan British standard piping. Or British steel pipe. Okay, what's the difference in that? How do I know that's a BSP and that's not? Well, that's a BSP thread, but then but, you've also got a poly compression fit. But there. you say that's not a BSP, it is a BSP. No, it is BSP, but you were saying BSP elbow, and it's not a BSP elbow. It's Yeah, it's a BSP2 poly elbow. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. I'll... <laughs> okay, I'll get it one day. Would I deliberately teach no, you the Jack. wrong... No, no, Jake. ...wrong you term not. for something? You wouldn't. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. You're much nicer than that, Jack. Here come the flies, Jack. I was wondering. I, I thought... hadn't noticed them. Thanks, Ant, for reminding me that what there's we flies. Go... Now, we had a spit of you rain. You want to use a fuckload of tape, is we... the technical term. Right. That's we nice. had a spit of rain this morning, which apparently is like a red rag to a bull for flies. Because they just go awesome. Breeding time. We're in. You want them to do double, double just, tape? Just use it all. We don't want any leaks. In a later episode, when we remember to do it, yes, we're going to be digging up one of these that has a leak somewhere. Oh yeah? It's not going to be fun. Well, I was hoping there wouldn't be any flies under here, Jack. And Yeah, mate. Tell me. This is uphill. What is uphill? This is uphill of that tank. Uh, I don't think it is. I think that's an optical illusion, Jack. I don't think it is. I think this is very, very flat. I know what you mean. Like if you had yeah, a Yeah, well, if we were up that end, it looks like this yeah, is Yeah, if you were to pour water on that, which way do you think it would flow? If we'd pour water here, which way do you think it would flow? We'd think it would flow to our west, uh, to our... South. South. Right, I'm going to turn this on, just get a bit of water out of it. Yeah, it's on. And it appears to be flowing down this way. Good. You got anything? I'm still getting air. It's not got a lot of head pressure, so... No, it's not. It's only up to this first ring. There we go. Give us a second. Do you want me to turn it off? I think you cut it short, Ant. 
Oh, I did not. Well, I can't get it in. Oh, pull your head in. No, I'm not fucking around. Oh, because it shrunk with the water. Oh, for fuck's sake. How much did you cut off? I cut it off to the level. Where is it? Show me. About an inch short. You know what the easiest thing for us to do, Jack? Move the trough? Yeah. Yeah, let's just move. It's much easier, Jack. Real I disconnect isolator, it. isolator. Yeah, yeah, I disconnect it. I'll go turn this. Uh. No, I'd let that thing cool down. Yeah. Just, yeah. just disconnect and hang it over the other side of the, um, the, the sand pile. Literally just an inch. Yep, okay. Well, what we could probably do is just lift it up and crowd out. Yeah. Maybe that'll work. Let's have a look. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for a start. Just... Have you disconnected the pipe, mate? It's disconnected. We're good. Okay. Oh, hello. What? Come have a look at this. Hang on. <clears throat> what, what, what? Oh, wow. Look at that bloke. Was he in the pipe or underneath the trough? Oh, look at him. That is what we're dealing with out here, folks. Look at that. That's his little... The home and ant. Yeah. Where were you lying down? I know, I know, I know, Jack. And last night, my donger was spider central. It's just with the heat, it, they just, they, they, it's like in the winter, they go in hibernation and then the summer comes and they go, no, we're, um, we're back. We're, we're red and we're that back. That is awesome. And yes, I was laying right there. Okay. Centipede. Ant. Yep. You know how we said if we poured some water out, it'd flow this way? Yeah, Jack, we're definitely uphill. Or Danny um, dug more at the other end. No, actually, it's true to say that this... Is dug out less. Yeah, 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 so it's not a true representation. Okay, let me get this going. Are the lugs still hooked on? Yes. Yeah, yeah, just... Yep. Yep. Down, down, down. Are we good, Jack? Which way is it slanting? That way or this way? It's tilting down towards the, uh, the tank. All right, so the GoPro is about to overheat and we've got a whole lot of other stuff we want to uh, actually capture and show you. So effectively, we're just going to do up this pipe. We're going to set this float, which we're almost done, pack some dirt in around here and start working on filling it in. And then Ant's going to be working on our comms. So we are going to leave the camera for a bit. We're going to going to actually drop it in the angle to keep it cold so that we can capture setting up the Wi-Fi monitoring unit. Now, it's not our preferred method of doing it in field. Um, we have been doing it back in the workshop where we've got a lot more tools and it's tidier, but we are where we are and we're gonna knock it together and show you just how simple it is to have one of these things set up and a lot of support out there for anyone wanting to do it or even just buy something that's that's market ready and we will talk to you about who it is that you can access to get these systems yourself All right we will be back in a blink um i've got to remember how to do everything here i'm going to set this well we've got the little conveyor mat yeah i'm going to sit in the shade where's the shade where's the sun over there probably the best shades there Hey? No, oh, it's going to move. You know how I said we should pack the gazebo and you said, no, nah, Jack, that's a silly idea. Oh, that was yesterday. Today would have been a good idea. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, I've got to remember how to do all this, but I will. 
Uh, the top end assembly, I'm not so okay with the box. I know what no, to do. No, top end's a old. But I, I do want to know what. To, okay, let's get busy. We'll go through it. All right. Um, but effectively, it's your board layout that you should have a photo of. I do. I do. I do. I do. Yep. Yep. Leave it with me. Or I'll get busy. You can assemble, and we will video it later. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to get with it. Yep. All right. So we'll fast forward it a little bit, and we've got the water going into the trough over there. And we've got our rig up there with our safety harnesses so we can do the top end assembly. And then down here we've got our box, which is quite simply big old lithium battery, solar charge controller, a 12 volt to 24 volt DC converter, POE injector, a really simple $9 POE injector. And up the top we've got a nano switch, which will Put out our voltage to three other devices so up the top there we've got our wi-fi access point our camera and then we've also got our dish which is a power bank and that's pointing back to bacon hill we're just configuring it now and we're hoping that we'll be able to go through a little bit more of it but we've got a problem at the other side of the station so that's it finders keepers minus its trough cover at the moment we need to make one for it because that last batch of troughs didn't come with any. She's pumping water up. I'm about to climb up and put the lid on. We've got our solar frame in for water. That'll need a dust off. Ant is off building an airstrip at the moment. And we've got our comms up. I've just, I've just got to take the, take the mast down. So at the moment, because the battery's got a bit of a strange charge algorithm, I've got to reprogram the charge controller to our standard configuration. So we're not wired up properly, but we are on the way. And it is a pretty simple concept. A solar charge controller, a voltage conversion or regulator, and then a POE injector, which is a power over ethernet injector. Then that puts it up there, gives us power that we can distribute and powers up the wireless radio, the Wi-Fi radio, and the camera. They all operate on 24 volts and we use the G3 or the G3 Flex. They aren't the highest resolution. They're also a bit expensive. There are other ways to configure this and you can get a unit <laughs> similar to this and it's a pre-packaged ready to go. And that'll be through the team at Landwatch who are based out of Queensland. I highly recommend if you're looking at getting into wireless networking on your station or around your farm to reach out to those guys. And I'll make sure that there's a link in the description below. And if you're going to go down the avenue of building it yourself, we get our charge controllers through Outback Marine. They've always been really good on their prices. And for our Ubiquiti kit, you've got Ubiquiti Store, you've got Ubiquiti Warehouse, and you've got Wireless One. They seem to be pretty good and great at shipping these this kit around. And with that, it's kind of, um, you know, this is episode 100. We've done pretty well, or not exactly episode 100, it's our 100th upload, or close to. But I want to say thank you to everyone who's you know been with us on the journey. We figured that since it was the first video that we've, we started the YouTube channel off, it would be the one where we sort of say thank you to everyone for supporting us so far, especially to those who have reached out contacted us sent us emails messages and all of that it is really appreciated and we do read everything you guys write and, and send in and the dynamic that we have between us as well us out here who are sharing the videos and you guys who all contribute with your mechanical technical knowledges you know stuff with our networking anything all along the way that experience is brilliant to share so we thought that it's a good good water point to really, you know, come back onto and round off everything. The channel started out as a bit of a competition or a bit of a challenge between JH and I, Tomsbrook Farm. So if you haven't seen him, check him out. And it really started out as just showing what it was like out here. But then it sort of evolved into sharing our knowledge and hopefully our experiences with all of you and the rest of the world so thank you very much for being with us and 
we'll we'll be slowing down a bit on some of the videos because like with everything that we do here on the station I am learning it as I go or I've learned it or taught myself somehow and developing my skills just like the YouTube channel I'm learning how to do that I'm working my way through it duck back and watch that first video that I did on finding this ball and if you haven't watched everything else through the way you know have a look here and there but have a look at that first video and let us know what you think of our progression as a channel as editing has gone by from that first video so thank you very much and i will leave you to it for now cheers